Shalom. Hello. My name is Eli Avisera. I'm from Jerusalem, Israel. First, I'm going to show you my tools made by Hamlet Craft Tools, Sheffield, England. My skew chisels, like you can see, it's convex bevel. Also, my bidding tools, it's convex bevel, but the profile, it's not square, it's little cone. In my gouges, all sharpening with two bevels. One small bevel, around two millimeter. You can see also my roughing out gouge, two bevels. Can I explain why I use with two bevels? First, I'm going to show you how I sharp my tools, how you can also sharp this easy, and how you can use with tools correct in easy, like a skill chisel, for example, or gouges, all gouges, how you sharp and use easy and correct. Now, we're going first to see the grind machine. I explain about grind machine. Then I, I explain all the process for sharpening till we have very, very sharp edge. When you understand all sharpening process, we can start make some shavings and I explain each step that it will be easy for you to use tools uh, correct in with fun, okay? Come with me, please. Then I can show you how I sharp my tools. Okay, now I'm going to turn a between center. The wood, it's pine wood, and I like to teach with pine wood. It's very soft. If you have a lime wood, also it's good for to uh, make some exercise between center. The reason that I'm used with pine because it's really soft wood. But if you use with very, very sharp tools and you turn correct with the tools, you can see very nice results. First I'm going to find a center. You can use with this template 45 degrees. I have a center. You can use also with the fingers like I show you now. You can see the finger the stop the tip of the pencil. This is the center. Approximately, other sides, then each size. Now you can see here two lines. Between two lines, I have the center. Okay. You can use any kind of Drive. Drive center. This is a regular one, a center with four prongs. Prongs. Or you can use with a step center that you have a center in many very sharp teeth all or around. In the center it's also with spring. In I like use with this one, particularly when I tear with my segment, like uh, ebony or other exotic wood. If I use with this, I need to use in hammer like I show you. It's not good for art and exotic woods. But this, for exotic woods, it's better. If you use with regular 
a drive center, okay, you need to use with hammer. I use with plastic hammer, but don't use with metal because a metal he change all the shape in this area that he have a problem with vibration and stuff like you know. Just the center in the side of the drive center, and you can see now all, all the marks. But I, I'm going to use with the step center that I don't need to use any armors, just a center and I can hold this and the way. Okay, I'm going to set my tool rest. In first, the pine wood, this corner it's 12 o'clock, okay, in this corner for me now is the center. When I'm going to turn with gouges, my tool rest always below the center. Okay? And I check that the wood it's not against the tool rest. Okay? Now, very important to keep always your tool rest smooth and clean. It is a roughing gouge that I'm going to use now. Now I'm going to rough. First, the tool must be on the tool rest. The angle of the tool is 45 degrees. And also, the excess with the tool is 45 degrees. Okay? two-thirds two from the pine wood and now the last third I change my position and I hold the tools now same angles 45 degrees the tools with the excess in 45 degrees the tools on the tools okay Now I can check if the wood is completely round. Okay, you can check this all with tools, you can build, or you can check with your thumb. But this direction, of course, not this direction. You can try. Believe me, it's gonna try once. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm going to explain what I did. First, it's very important how you hold your tools. When you stand next to the lathe, if you hold your tools correct, your cut it will be much easier. What I mean? It's like if you want to shoot arrow. When you shoot arrow with correct direction, it's much easier compared if you shoot your arrow with this direction. But when people come first time next delay, I don't, I don't know to explain this, but most of the new students he hold the tools like people want to shoot arrow with a wrong direction. 
Okay. <clears throat> now I show you how I hold the tools and how I stand when I turn with the roughing out gouge. First, I'm going to show you how I turn again. The first step, it's two thirds, okay, from the center of the wood and tile stock direction, two thirds, okay, and I hold the tools like it, like can you can see now, okay, the handle it's very close to my body, and the tools I hold with my fingers from left hand, all my fingers here in my thumb both of the tools and this finger it's very important to hold this in this area of the tool rest and this tool rest it's not from the same lathe like a one way this tool rest come from wood fast lathe and I really like the shape of this tool rest okay I can use with my finger keep always the tools parallel to my tool rest. This is the reason I hold my tool rest parallel to the center. Okay? You can see now again my finger here. It's easy for me to follow okay, the parallel from the tool rest. Okay? When I finish this part to rough, I change my position of my body and I stand the center of the wood like this and now I cut the last third and I'm going to show you this again when the wood is still square okay now you can see how I stand next to the lathe First, look my my feet, okay, right leg it's 45 degrees, it's left leg it's 90 degrees, okay. Now the tools, if you can see, compare the spindle in the tools it's 45 degrees, you can see these are 90 and these are 45. In the tool, on the tool rest also, it's not 90 degrees, it's 45 degrees. Okay? Then, I, I'm going to cut now from this corner, close the, the revolving center, to third. Okay? Tool on the tool rest. First, change, cut, one, two, now I want to stop the lane, you can see what I did. <coughs> 